Hey guys, welcome back to the Just Survive Test Server Update Notes for May 30th and a brief look at the H1Z1 PS4 beta release. The team has reduced the materials needed to create explosives along with entirely removing composites from the list. We're also seeing a rather significant reduction in base build components. You'll still need to place a socketed item down to secure your foundation and hopefully They've readjusted the timer because I lost my foundation and crafting stations in the process of trying to build a socketed item on the test server. The team has removed automatic server construction caps based on server memory, so you'll be able to build your skyscraper bases again. A movement penalty was added to crouching to reduce the ramping back up to full speed from a crouch. A securable area issue associated with low speed projectiles killing people just after doors were closed has been fixed. Shadow settings were adjusted to increase performance, along with fixing several memory leaks. A storage container issue was addressed to ensure that we don't lose any more items. You'll notice that crates are now free. However, on the test server, despite entering my zip code, I never could open one of the crates. And if you go to the market, you'll notice that the prices have been marked out, but no place to enter a zip code. Perhaps the new crate system doesn't apply to test server and the team has limited it to just live. Appearing in the top right hand corner, I left a poll for you guys to let me know whether you mostly play on the test server or on the live servers. On May 22nd, H1Z1 beta went live for the PS4. From the videos I've seen so far from console players, H1Z1 seems to be pretty well received. The guys in the videos mentioned that there were a few adjustments uh, that were needed to include improving the sniper rifle as it takes several shots to drop a target, addressing bullet bloom along with hit markers, and that exiting moving vehicles should cause some level of damage. It would also appear that Daybreak has seen pretty good success with the launch. They've had 200,000 concurrent players online. They've managed to gather 1.5 million players within 24 hours of that launch. And as of May 25th, they've had a total of 4.5 million people join the PS4 beta. That's pretty impressive. And I have to confess that I'm kind of happy for the team considering uh, they just went through those layoffs and some of the changes that they've been experiencing. So uh, good for the development team for having such a successful launch. I've had a few people ask me about Just Survive coming to PS4. And I don't really think the team is planning on doing that, seeing as they're, you know, they've not completed it for the PC yet. So that's kind of just my short answer for now, because we still don't really know what's going to be planned for the PC. Guys, that's going to wrap it up for the May 30th test server update notes, along with the recent release of H1Z1 on PS4. So kudos to all you guys that are enjoying that on the console. If you haven't already because you're new to the channel or you're a frequent visitor, guys, go ahead and click on that channel icon appearing on the screen right now to subscribe, along with selecting that multiple choice bell notification that YouTube has designed with the crazy amounts of different notifications. This way, you'll get all the latest news out of Daybreak and just survive.